this is Brian Van and Jeff Gibson from Sport Bike Track here, SportBikeTrackHere.com. Today we're going to do a video review on a brand new leather jacket for 2010 from Alpine Stars. This is the Drift leather jacket. Jeff, how tall are you? Six foot. What do you weigh? Uh, 160. Okay, we've got you in a size 52 euro, which would be a 42 US in this jacket. Let's give them a 360 so they can have an idea of how it's fitting. I think for your height and weight, I think that's a pretty solid fit. This is made from some super awesome distressed leather. It is so soft and supple, it is almost ridiculous. I think the look and the style of the coat is great. With the sizing, something I want you to keep in mind is we're not talking about a race coat here that's full of Kepertech stretch panels, okay? This is an old school leather motorcycle jacket, right? Got a couple intake vents up here, you know? Bring some air into the coat, got a little bit of perforation here under the arm, but note everything is leather, 100%. So when you're sizing this, if this thing fits skin tight day one, you're not going to be able to move and ride in it. So I think this is a very appropriate fit for you. The jacket comes with a full vest liner, we've got it in, looks great. It has the chest armor in it, it has the back pad in it, uses the bio armor. One feature they've added is right here. They have a leather stretch panel they built into the back of the shoulder and go ahead and bring your arm back again and now reach forward. And you can see that expand and that was a really intelligent way to keep the theme and the look of the jacket and not put you know a big expanding accordion stretch panel in the leather because this thing is just absolutely fantastic. Love this leather, love the way it looks. Myself, I've got a couple of motorcycle jackets, leather jackets that I wear around as casual jackets in the winter. It gets cold here in Michigan. And I, I got to tell you, the first time I saw the drift, that really popped into my mind immediately. This is the kind of jacket that somebody could buy and they could use it for that purpose. Hell, you could use it for that purpose alone if you wanted to. It's that good. Or you could blend it between the motorcycle and the casual side. You could wear this to a destination. You're going out and meeting some friends. Definitely not going to look like a racer when you walk in wherever it is that you're headed, right? Looks cool. Awesome jacket. Some more features here. We have some expansion panels that zip open and close. They're trimmed with leather on the inside. I like the detail here in the sleeve, the way they embroidered that detail over. The logos are basically, you know, they're screened on, you know, kind of maybe even etched in. Nothing is sewn on it. We have two storage pockets here on the outside. Both zippered, comfort trim collar right? The sleeves, zippered closure, and there's no Velcro flap or anything that goes over it. Kind of a microfiber trim here. Comfortable. Satin liner. I think that's kind of a first for Alpine Stars using a satin liner on the inside of a leather jacket. Um, you'll see a snap attachment here up at the collar. And that is also trimmed in a comfort fabric. If you want to go ahead and pull it off, Jeff, we'll just give a quick look from the inside out. Very impressive, the quality of this thing is absolutely magnificent. This will be my, thanks Jeff, this will be my new leather jacket, I think, for, for the winter of 2010. Here's a look at the liner. You can see that it's got, you know, just, you know, kind of a fabric collar here, you know, to keep it comfortable. Satin liner, even for the removable vest. We have two storage pockets here on the left side of the removable vest liner. In order to take it out, Fold up this fabric flap, grab the zipper pull here at the top, zip it all the way down. It's going to be a mirror image on the other side, of course. Let's go ahead and pull the flap up, zip down, and we're going to have one attachment up here at the top. It's going to use a simple Velcro attachment. Undo that, pull it through the loop. Now it's going to show you the rest of that liner. Look at that satin liner. Super comfortable, feels great against the skin. Here is that trimmed collar. We retain the storage pockets here on the inside of the jacket in its real liner. We have our full circumference zippered attachment if you want to use some riding pants with this. Uh, maybe, I don't know which ones would you suggest with this jacket. Back pants would probably be a good mix with this coat. We have another storage pocket here on the right side. It does come with the chest armor and the back armor and then the bio armor and the sleeves and shoulders. We're going to show you that real quick. To access the chest armor, just simply undo that Velcro pocket right there. It'll expose a second inner pocket. Grab a hold of the Velcro. You can undo that. This can be upgraded. 
to the Bionic Armor Hard Auto GP shell. Offers a higher level of protection. That is just energy absorbing foam that we removed. Same deal here in the back. Let's go ahead and zip that pocket open, reach inside. We're going to have a second pocket right here. Undo the Velcro. Here comes our back armor. This is just energy absorbing foam. You can easily upgrade this to the RC CE certified back protector. For the armor in the shoulders and the elbows, you actually have to go in through the pocket down here at the back protector. We're going to reach inside, slide up inside the coat, and it is inside of a pocket. And what we're noticing on the jackets from Alpine Stars, the new leathers for 2010, they are not using Velcro to close the pockets for the armor. They're using a kind of a, a spandex fabric pocket that overlaps. Here is the CE certified bio armor that comes in the drift jacket. You can see that there are some perforations in it that allows the heat energy that would normally be trapped between your body to migrate out through those holes where it's keep you cool and comfortable. Very thin, actually absorbs more energy than the previous armor, which was about twice as thick, if not more. Something that I'd like to note as well, what they've done here is they put the armor pockets on the inside of the liner so that this entire satin liner is uninterrupted. Okay, there are no armor pockets that are sewn into this on the inside, so you don't feel the armor at all when you put your armor in the coat. It just feels super, super soft. Give you a quick look here at the elbow and forearm armor. Here it is. Same idea as you have in the shoulder. Perforations to allow the heat energy to escape. CE certified, very comfortable. This is a great jacket. I think it's going to be a great walking around jacket. It's going to be a great jacket on the bike. Awesome quality. This is the Drift Leather Jacket, all new for 2010 from Alpine Stars and SportBikeTrackGear.com.